My name is Jemima Parry-Jones and I'm the CEO of the International Center for Birds of Prey, which has now been here for 48 years next month. It's our 50th birthday in two years. And the idea of the center is conservation through education, captive breeding, research and rehabilitation. So we lead the world in the captive breeding field. We've bred 65 species to date. It's the, the oldest dedicated bird of prey centre in the world now and it's probably the largest in terms of different species. Uh, this is a red kite, this is one of the species that we have here. We have bred them but not for a while. This one was given to me by a friend of mine and she's extremely bad tempered I have to say. But she does fly well. Um, and so visitors come and see us. We fly birds three times a day. So normally, especially on a day like today when the weather's been absolutely glorious, we would be flying anything up to 35 birds a day. And that gets a little bit more in the summer. And then during the winter months, the numbers drop down a bit. Otherwise people die of pneumonia in the field. <laughs> They have superb vision. It is said that a kestrel can read the small print of the Sunday Times newspaper at 300 yards, but that is pretty difficult to prove, I have to say. Without doubt, they do have first-class vision, but it does alter. For example, vultures, I think, probably have one of the best eyesights because they're up very high looking for stuff that isn't moving, where peregrines are looking for stuff that is moving. So um, it, all of it takes um, fits in with the environment that they have. We're lucky enough to have two of the largest birds of prey, or no, three of the largest birds of prey here because we've got a condor and hopefully there's one hatching any minute now as well. Um, the Stella sea eagle, which I think you saw fly, which is the biggest of all the fish eagles, and Marshall eagles. So there are four huge eagles in the world. Stellas, Marshalls, the harpy eagle and the Philippine eagle. Um, the smallest of the birds of prey are usually things like pygmy falcons, uh, which we don't have at the moment, but we'll have soon, I hope. Um, Speed-wise, Without doubt, the peregrine is probably the fastest. Uh, it's been quoted at doing speeds of anything up to 240 miles an hour. Having said that, you do have to qualify that by saying that was when they got taken up in an aeroplane to 16,000 feet, which is a lot higher than they would normally fly. And this bird, the red kite, is a wonderful success story in this country because by the 1970s, all we had left in the way of red kites was four pairs in Wales. And now there are 900 pairs in Wales. A lot of them are related to one individual kite who was a tremendous breeder um, in her time. And they've also been released in Buckinghamshire, Northamptonshire, in, near Leeds, um, down in Devon, in North Yorkshire and in Scotland. So apart from the North Yorkshire ones and the Scotland ones, which aren't doing as well, unfortunately, there is rather a lot of persecution up there. Um, the others are doing a brilliant job and you'll see them literally anywhere along the M40 or the M42 or the M4 when you drive along towards London. And they're beautiful birds.